Hello my beauties, how's everyone doing? If you are new here, my name is Zonaza and I welcome you to my channel. Here we talk all things femininity, faith, style, beauty, you name it, we are on it. If you are interested in any of these, please make sure to become part of this family by hitting the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And to my returning beauties, my sisters, my fam, my clan, welcome back. It is lovely to see you again. On today's video, we are doing basic everyday outfits that have a chic element to them, though they are comfortable and suitable for everyday wear. I've got a lot of inspiration from Pinterest for this one. The idea behind the whole video is to get us to use the basic items that we already have on our wardrobe and just mix them up nicely be more intentional with them it always helps to have inspiration see the outfit put together and worn by someone else even if it's just the basic items that you already have I can definitely guarantee you that if you buy anything it will be a, an item or two but the rest of the items even for me were already there i simply had to add just one basic item otherwise the rest i already had because as we always do here we will be throwing in some styling tips throughout the video this is not just going to be about the outfit itself but also other options that you can put together the items with and get that classic chic effortless everyday style now to jump straight into the first look that we are covering for today's video we're looking at this basic black shirt the idea behind this one is just the basic concept of wearing a black top and light pants Many people will go for a black top and white pants. You will see that this is actually quite a common combination. And if you didn't notice it before, you might want to look into it. For me on this one, instead of going for white pants, I went for something that is more practical to my everyday life. That is not too bright. Also the texture of the fabric because I'm a bit curvy at the bottom. So now we know that basic principle of the lighter shades making you appear a bit bigger than you are. So for me, I had to go for firm non-stretch jeans that are also comfortable as well that help me put together the look, the overall look of a black top and white pants, but I'm staying true to my personal shape and my personal preferences. For me, for everyday life, I don't really normally go for white pants. So going for cream is always a safe bet for me, unless there's something extra special then I'll go for that crisp white bottom. You can do this look maybe with white jeans and a black t-shirt. It will also still look stunning or white pants and a black tank top. This is just the basics of black and white, but instead of having black at the bottom, you have your black at the top. It's up to you where you feel more comfortable to have more volume and more cinching in. For me, it was equally important to cinch in the waist because I'm going for an oversized black shirt. So the waist needs to come together. And I especially love the black shirt here. I could have done anything. I could have done a t-shirt, but I just feel like we tend to slip on a black basic shirt. For me, this is just a stunner. It's just a bit tricky to find. I found it as I normally find my shirts on the men's section. I got the shirt from H&M. Also, the pants that I'm wearing here are from H&M. The shoes are from Zara. I always wear these shoes. I love them so much. These are soft leather mules from Zara. And the handbag is also another regular everyday favorite of mine on the channel and off the channel. That's the whole entire idea about this. To wear things that we already have. The intention behind this video is to have you having an outfit to wear every single day. To never hear any of my beauties saying, 
what am I gonna wear? So we're just putting together simple, simple everyday outfits, but we must look chic and put together all the time. So I highly recommend a black basic oversized shirt. Ladies, get this one. If you feel like this men's oversized one is a bit too masculine for you, you can always go for a satin black shirt, satin silk, whatever you have access to or what your personal preference is. You can go for that. And another nice thing about this black shirt is you can dress it with several other items. I actually did something for my Instagram where I styled the shirt with three different ways. I'm going to put it here. For example, I have it on with black pants for the office, with a satin skirt for a date, and with these cream pants will you be trying a black shirt anytime soon please let me know on the comment section down below shooting straight into the next look this is your basic tank top that we all have particularly a white one i tend to go for a bodysuit instead of the standard tank top but the feel is still the same and now here just to amp it up a bit the inspiration this beautiful lady here has her white tank top with black formal pants i absolutely love this look i don't know how i never thought of it before because it's so simple it's a white tank top and black pants i just never thought of it until i was intentional to find interesting ways and you know more chic ways of wearing my white tank tops so here is the look and how I interpreted it. What are your thoughts on this one? For me, I feel like the pants just elevate the tank top. It's not, it doesn't look like a basic tank top. For example, just basic tank top and jeans and, and that's it. Also, how you groom yourself with these items will definitely have an impact on the overall feel of the item itself. So the basic tank top done with well-groomed hair and nice neat makeup. If you do wear makeup, it does add that element of chic into it. I also like the contrast between these two items. Tank tops are usually casual and these formal pants would normally go with maybe a shirt and a blazer, but just to cool things off, to suit an everyday look. This is absolutely stunning. I can still pull this off maybe with brown or tin sandals, you see? So that's another option, but just the tank top and dressy pants, that's a vibe I'm into. What about you? Always, please, please rate the video and keep the comments coming. Please don't mind the changes on my set. <laughs> I'm trying to minimize the impact of the now sunny weather that it's just out of nowhere to look at the next outfit inspiration it's another basic look which is just a basic white t-shirt and skinny jeans oversized blazer flat shoes and a handbag this is literally my everyday uniform i can wear this for grocery shopping i can wear it to the office on a less formal day i can wear it to bible study everything i love it because it's versatile i also like the fact that with this particular look the blazer is not your standard black one or a white one i like the patterns here you can obviously go for anything like tweed just to spice things up a bit and for me to balance out the skinny jeans i always go for an oversized blazer because i don't like how i look when i'm all tight tight top tight bottoms i feel a little overexposed when i'm going for an oversized blazer uh, and flat shoes as well i tend to create a bit of structure with skinny jeans i actually think this is the first time i'm wearing skinny jeans on the channel <laughs> that's how tricky the situation is between me and skinny jeans but if i'm gonna wear something with a bit of volume that covers up my curves which i actually love 
but I love so much that I don't want everyone seeing just willy nilly. So this is the nice balance for me. And I copied this look to the T. The interesting fact about the blazer, this is my brother's blazer. This is his Makwala blazer. I saw it just sitting there at home and I love the pattern here. And it's actually quite expensive, but he can't wear it because that phase of his life passed. So I just took it and I will always just dust it up and put it on. You can get these kind of blazers at H&M actually at the moment. H&M has these and they are coming in different patterns. I actually took pictures. I'm going to put here. Yeah. And you can obviously find lots of other options. You can go, like I said, with a tweed blazer, with a pinstripe blazer, just to spice things up. I love the fact that this is a flat shoes look from the beginning. This is what's more practical for me on an everyday basis. And the birds flying over my window. <laughs> guys excuse that um i have on these shoes are from Woolworths. i got them last year i always have these they can be from any shop aldo always has Woolworths or sheeny wherever you feel is more suitable for your pockets you can definitely get these obviously these are dupes for the gucci ones so if you got the gucci mula you can go for the original gucci black brogues with that gold detail i absolutely love this outfit my t-shirt is from let's see cotton on the blazer is from ducks but you know, i don't know maybe i don't know if there's a lady that can literally wake up from home and go buy a kola blazer i don't know if you like it you will do it i don't know anything that says you can't do that oh and to my international beauties voila that's when our brothers go to the bush and go through circumcision and go through that rite of passage when they come back they start dressing more formal this is one of the items that they wear it comes in different patterns but this is the more popular pattern this pattern kind of reminds me of burberry of the burberry pattern i don't know it's all scottish stuff i understand but this particular one i think it's nevada or ducks something like that so yeah what do you think of this look this is my favorite out of the lot by the way i just couldn't film in the blazer like i normally do that's the tradition of this family that my favorite outfit will be the outfit that i film on since i got the skinny jeans from the lovely ladies at denims by natty k these are beautiful so comfortable and fit me like a glove they sent me quite a number of jeans that i have featured on the channel previously so these skinny jeans are from them please visit their page on instagram at denims by natty k they have amazing cuts of jeans and the quality is just amazing this is beautiful and comfortable i've worn this particular pair a couple of times and i fall in love with it each and every time <laughs> skinny jeans are not to be done away with completely even though the oversized jeans are more trending i still i still believe that we don't have to throw our skinnies away we just need to balance them better what do you think of this outfit is it something that you normally do or you just keep your blazers to the standard black white or beige personally i love this vibe moving on to the next look which is mm, a bit of my least favorite how it came out on on today's video because this was the last outfit i filmed i was in a hurry to go pick up my kids so yeah the look has great potential but i just didn't execute it well here the style tip behind it though is just the importance of having that tonal vibe going in your wardrobe the items may not necessarily be bought together but i always find that tonal outfits give you that chic not trying too hard look but this is more of an office or dinner look but it's more on the everyday basis when you don't feel like wearing your freak out for example when it's a semi-formal vibe you don't want to be going over the top 
sets are always a great vibe the inspiration here is queen kim k i absolutely love this look i got the pants i think from some boutique in town but they are new feelings so you can get it anyway really and the top i got from shein of certain i love how feminine it is and i also like the neutral colors on this one because it's more classic it's more everyday chic it is less on the trendy side what do you think of this outfit i actually wore this already i wore it for an interview that i had for an instagram live and youtube channel of miss lali dokwe who is a family friend of mine and a radio presenter as well i really enjoyed this look on the day i wore it there but today i i didn't have the time but i did want us to talk about those tonal outfits that we need for our everyday life please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you have watched up to this far you obviously are a beauty at heart don't forget to rate the video those thumbs up really help in the growth of the channel because they help the channel get recommended more to other beauties all over the globe and last but certainly not least two of my favorite items to have in a wardrobe a satin slip skirt for a lady is a definite must and of course the standard basic oversized white shirt i love this combination it's so easy and we all readily have these items i always feel like animal print is just a neutral you can mix with anything the satin skirt i got from Shein, I featured it on the channel before. It's so easy to style. I've worn this so many times. I've worn it with a black turtleneck. I've worn it with a t-shirt. You can always mix things up where animal print is concerned. And I've mixed it up with another basic here, with, which is a basic cotton white shirt. I love this outfit. It's nothing brand new. It is something that you can easily take from day with your flat sandals and just put on some heels and a more dressier handbag you have a chic outfit so i have done it here with gold sandals this is more of a brunch vibe with the girls what do you think what do you think <laughs> is the last look that we're looking at today before i go let's do a quick recap of the outfits that we covered today and with that we have reached the end of this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video i love you god bless you see you again soon bye